patients who have tearing is basically a problem with the tear duct system. We call it the lacrimal system. The tears are produced in a gland we call the lacrimal gland. Then once the tears are produced in the lacrimal gland, then it wets the eye and then it collects at the inner corner of the eye. This is where the tear ducts are. The tear ducts will drain these tears into the nose and then the throat. That's why sometimes when you use eye drops, you feel a bitter sensation. This is because of a tear duct. So if you feel that, that sensation, that means your tear ducts are working. Patients who have narrowed tear ducts or blocked tear ducts, they will complain that they have constant tearing and they find that when they wake up in the morning, the eyes are red, sore and there's some discharge, sticky discharge there. In more severe condition where it's completely blocked, patient can complain of very severe eye pain and they have a swollen uh, inner part of the eye. This always stands and uh, red. So these sort of patients normally have a narrowed or complete blocked tear duct. And in children, when they are born, sometimes uh, there's a membrane blocking this tear duct. So when they are born, for two or three months, they will be constantly having tearing. So those sort of patients need to see an eye doctor and there's some uh, treatment that can be administered, such as massage to the area. If that doesn't work, then the child has to undergo a procedure under anesthesia where a small probe is put into the duct to break the membrane. Once the membrane is broken, then the system starts functioning normally. But in adults, most of the time it's not because of a membrane, but it's because of a narrowed tear duct. So when the tear duct is narrowed, the pumping action of the tear duct doesn't work anymore. So the tears cannot drain the eye. Uh, no, the lacrimal system cannot drain the eye. So what they have to undergo is a small procedure in the clinic called astringing. So the ophthalmologist put some local anesthetic drops into the eye and they put a small probe and try to flush water into the tear duct. Most of the time, if it's a small block because of debris, a mild, mild narrowing, it will open up after the syringing. But in some condition where it's completely blocked, whenever the doctor flushes, the water just keeps coming back. So it doesn't go through the system. So these sort of patients will need to undergo further uh, surgery. Normally, this kind of surgery can be done through the nose, so there won't be any scar. It can be done as an endoscopic procedure. This is called an endoscopic decryocystorhinostomy, where the tear duct which is blocked, we bypass the block area, form a new tear duct with a stent. Mild patients, a mild sort of tearing, sometimes you don't even need surgery. You can just put a stent in without operating. Most of the time after the surgery, 80 to 90% of them will be back to normal.